is the energies that we've had since the solstice. It's um, the energies that I feel are change. Um, to me, I feel scared. It's the energies are coming in, and when I get tired occasionally, and what we have to do is remain focused. It's similar to what Steve said about the New Year's resolutions to keep focused on that one instead of making a lot of resolutions. I usually, when I console people, is tell them about resolutions is that um, you should act upon them daily. You shouldn't create them so high that you can never reach them. It's a daily practice, much like meditation. Um, that's what I want to say. The Life in itself is a circle, and as is the universe, is a circle. There are many sayings about it, what comes around goes around. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to put that. There is no beginning, there is no end. As we look at the Mayan prophecies, um, I guess what you would say is one calendar cycle closes, another one begins. So life in itself um, goes on. What I would like to talk about is via the cycle, there has been something left behind that has um, been talked about, and that is referred to as the Emerald Tab Tablet. The Emerald Tablet is from the writings of Hermes Trismegistus. Dr. Thomas, can you say that? Trismegistus. Trismegistus. Yeah. Whatever. Hermes, the threefold sage, is how I will refer to him. So the Emerald Tablet is an ancient artifact that reveals a profound spiritual message which has survived to this day, despite centuries of efforts to suppress it. Encoded within the tablet's mysterious wording is a powerful formula that works on all levels of reality at once, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual, otherwise known as the body, mind, and spirit. 
and it shows us how to achieve our spiritual, our personal spiritual transformation. Uh, the Emerald Tablet, Tablet reads as translated by Giorgio Bieto, and I'm going to read this if you don't mind. It states, this is true and removed from all cover of falsehood. Whatever is below is similar to that which is above. Through this, the marvels of the work of one thing are procured and perfected. Also, as all things are made from one, by the consideration of one, so all things were made from this one by conjunction. The father it is the father it is the sun the mother, the moon. The wind bore in its womb. Its nurse is the earth, the mother of all perfection. Its power is perfected. If it is turned into earth, separate the earth from the fire, the subtle and thin from the crude and coarse, with modesty and wisdom. This ascends from the earth into the sky and again descends from the sky to the earth and receives the power and efficacy of things above and of things below. By this means you will acquire the glory of the whole world and so you will drive away all shadows and blindness. For this by its fortitude snatches the palm from all other fortitude and power, for it is able to penetrate and subdue everything subtle and everything crude and hard. By this means the world was founded. And hence the marvelous conjunctions of it and admirable effects, since this is the way by which these marvels may be brought about. And because of this, they have called me Hermes, the threefold sage, since I have the three parts of wisdom and philosophy of the whole universe. And thus ends the revelation of the work of the sun. This emerald tablet is what began the term as above, so below. As above, the universe as oneness gives to us as humans, so below on earth, the power to transform our spiritualism, the power to create. I have had some people refer to the God, your guides, your masters, as above, so below. Well, this isn't a perfect world, sometimes they mess up as well. So that is one theory. I don't particularly agree with it. I believe that the universe provides. And through meditation and creation, we can transform. So getting back to the words of the Emerald Tablet, the work of the sun is the cosmic central sun the Creator. In respect to the Son, the Son is the Christ consciousness within us. Part of the quote, as above, so below, includes as within, so without. So we create our life through our thoughts. The law of attraction is the law of the creation. Everything that is coming into your life, you are attracting in your life. As above, so below. As within, so without. Create your life through your thoughts. Whatever you think about and think about, you bring it out. So we have to include that gratitude, that thankfulness in with what we, we, are, what we create. We are given this power to transform. 
These are the energies of the Aquarian age. It starts with love, and when we meditate, we create. Think about the Trinity. Mother, Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Metaphysically, it represents thought, thinker, and action. When we meditate with love, we receive the, the, the seed thought to create from God, our teachers and our guides. Meditation is important to us. I believe we should meditate five to 10 minutes minimally each day. Some people can make a science of it, and I do appreciate those people, and I hope to get to that point sometime in, time, sometime in the future. But five to 10 minutes is what I do the first thing in the morning, later in the day, when Ann will say I am beamed out, I am probably meditating. <laughs> Thank you. So, then our Christ consciousness nurtures our thought by developing our plan of action. And our spirit, as the Holy Spirit, acts upon our thoughts and creates our vision, our goals, our purpose. There are many natural laws and the Creator never stops creating. The law of attraction is a good one to, as we meditate, we nurture that creative thought. There are many others that coincide with the law of attraction we have to pay attention to. As I mentioned before, one of them is the law of gratitude. But the law of forgiveness goes a long way with the law of creating. Sometimes we are in such a state where we don't forgive people who can help us. And with that law of forgiveness, if we have the gratitude, the thankfulness, and the forgiveness, we can move forward and create the purpose as to why we are here. I'm going to quote something from Archie Fire Landier from the Lakota, and he says, the medicine wheel teaches about change. It says that which is created will fall apart. That which is loose will be used to create new. In other words, everything on earth is participating in a constant change that is being directed by an order of laws and principles which are originated by the Creator. We humans are equipped with natural change abilities. We have the ability to vision. We can use imagination and imagery. We can change belief, attitude, habits, and expectations. We need to know ourselves, and we need to know how we work inside to enable us to change naturally. So this message is to love ourselves. And by loving ourselves, we can get those, thought, those thoughts for us to create, for us to move along on our soul path. The one that we are destined to be here to make the change. What I said with the energies coming in, we need to focus on what our thoughts are, what we can create, how to make this world a better place. Don't expect it. Don't expect to do it yourself. There's a lot to do with group consciousness, with group effort. That's why we're all here. And I just want to close with this message that love creates. And I thank you. Thank you.